Gladys aka is that your hair and welcome back to my channel so I'm here to present another wig review for you and today's video is special because I'm collabing with my girl Cassie that girl man I love me some Cassie I thoroughly enjoy her videos she does wig reviews she does clothing hauls she also does like lifestyle she'll do cleaning videos she does some vlogs as well so she has a nice variety on her channel and everything is high quality i just enjoy watching her period make sure you check out cassie's channel if you haven't heard of her yet now's the time click the link in the description box and get to know your girl because whatever way she's reviewing i'm sure it's going to look bomb.com when she's done with it so check her out so Cassie and I both decided that we wanted to review one of the new Bobby Walsh wigs. So today, I am bringing to you this one. So I have Kava or Kiva, whichever. Now the huge hype around the new Bobby Walsh wigs is the HD lace. It says it right here on the packaging. HD transparent skin blending lace, right? And it even shows you a picture right here of the difference between their lace versus other lace. It is also a 13 by 7 frontal. It comes with a pre-plucked hairline. It also comes with an elastic band. But the real question here is, is this HD lace? How well does it blend with skin tones from across the spectrum? I am a very dark skinned woman, so I'm curious to see how this is gonna work for me. I did see other people review this wig. I saw Kyra Sean review hers and it looked really good. I also saw the Hearts and Cake 90 review hers. So they gave me some hope that I could make something work with this unit. So let's just dive right in, shall we? So say hello to Kayla. <laughs> I got her in a very fun color, Tropicana. If you are familiar with my channel, you know that I really love diving into colors. I haven't been doing the bright, fun colors much lately because winter time I just tend to go towards darker colors. But best believe when springtime pops up, it's on and popping. Kayla does come with a 13 by 7 frontal, so you have all this frontal space here. And as you can see, I've already tinted my lace. It comes with two combs here in the center and a comb in the back. Now you will see here what Kava's lace looked like before I tinted it. It was ghastly white. So of course, I had to pull out my Evan Tint Spray to make this thing pop. It worked out pretty well. This is what it looks like after tinting and I really like the result. After putting this on, I am going to go in with this foundation I mentioned in my last video the sensational wet lace liana video if you haven't checked that out definitely check out that video because i think i did a really good job blending the lace and i also just love the cute half up half down style i did so this is gonna be like a holy grail for me as far as blending as well now one thing i did differently today i plucked a hairline for the first time i don't know what took me so long to do it this is what kava came looking like yes she is pre-plucked out the box but as you can see the hairline is very round. So I just started going at it with these tweezers that you see right here. And I just started plucking. And this is what it started looking like halfway through. And this was the end result. So I'm very pleased with myself for plucking the hairline. And I'm really excited now to see how this all kind of comes together with this lace. Because when it comes to frontals, I am still not a pro. I am still learning. I can still consider myself a novice. We all learn together. So if you're ready to see me put on Kava and style her and give you my thoughts on her, keep watching. One thing I will say about this elastic band, I heard that it's a little flimsy and I can see why. Also, how is it that this already has a hole in it? Like, are you for real? Like this already got a hole in the elastic band. Okay, I see where this is going. Got it. <laughs> All right, let's keep the party going. Oh, pretty baby, there's nothing that I wouldn't do. It's not the way I planned it. Show me how you want it to be. Tell me, baby, cause I need to know now.
with Kayla, Kiva, and I have my thoughts, so let's just jump right in. Starting with the pros. The first pros this unit, I must say, is the color. The way they did this gradient for Tropicana, oh my goodness. Like, it's it, if you love color the way I do, it's a dream. First of all, when you have bright hair, I think it's imperative to know how to root it if you are going to use a darker root because some people don't like dark roots if you have something very stark like a 1b with something like this a lot of times to me it just doesn't look right something softer like this it's like a soft ashy grayish brown but i think it just blends really nicely into this yellow and pink gradient oh my god i'm in love with the color bobby boss a plus to this because when i originally bought this i didn't know what the color was going to turn out like at all there was no you know strip on the website telling you what it looked like and then din din the girl who reviews wigs on wig types she came out with her view and i was like oh okay it's cute so i felt a little relieved seeing her view but yeah this contrast on my skin tone is just everything i would definitely wear colors like this during like pride month which is june festivals really spring summertime i would rock the hell of this unit but i also wear color units all year long so to each his own. The next process unit would be the style. I think it's so chic. This cut is awesome. And then when I part it to the side, this little flip over thing that's happening here, you see this? Ah, who do I think I am? I love that. Absolutely love that. When I had it in the middle, it did, it did remind me of Bobby Boss Lena, which is one of my favorite wigs by Bobby Boss. Down to the texture, yeah, it reminded me of Lena. Except Lena would be a lot easier to apply because it's not a lace, it's not a full frontal, it's just a lace front wig. Another pro to this unit is the amount of parting space you get. This 13 by 7 is serious, like, it goes all the way, like, I don't feel trapped until back here, like, right at the crown. That's how far back it goes. It extends over here. You have so much parting space to play with. You know, if you like to have fun with your units and like to switch it up, you would really enjoy this 13 by 7 frontal. Now, let's talk about cons, you guys. Whew. This lace, this lace, this lace, this HD lace, okay? Here are my thoughts. So, you saw how it looked on my hand. The lace was white. I already know what I'm what I'm cut out for with this. I had a really hard time with the blending of this unit. This was definitely harder than the sensational What Lace Liana unit. That lace was a little darker. But this, you know, white cast, even with the tinting, I still had to use a lot of the foundation in order to blend it to my skin. One huge tip and this probably goes for any complexion, but I just realized for me especially, when it comes to blending and if you're getting that halo effect around, you know, the hairline, definitely go in with a darker powder or liquid foundation. I had my liquid foundation on hand, which I already showed you, and that is what I use. I end up using a lot of that in order to blend this to the way it is right now. And even this is not, you know, exactly what I want, but... I was getting tired and I was like, let me just get back to the review because I would have been there all night trying to blend this thing. Like, no. <laughs> I was literally dabbing for my life. It was just like, dab, dab, dab. I was so over it. Ah, I want to see this sponge again. I'm over it for tonight. Yeah, so using a darker foundation definitely helped a lot with the blending. And even still, I had a few like weird, like, halo spots and when i was in the mirror i thought it was good but then i came on camera and i saw i still had some white spots and i was about to i was about to knock this whole <laughs> setup over i was like are you serious after all this blending so literally i was like you know what gladys calm down i took my little handy dandy brown eyebrow pencil and i just started dabbing i just started going like boop 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 Boop, 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 boop. That's what I started doing because I was like over it. But I think that definitely helped eliminate the rest of the halo that I was receiving. It was only in a few spots, but it was still annoying, especially seeing it on camera. And you know, I'm just trying to show you all my best. Like, oh, look, look, look at it. There it goes again. There it goes again. That's just what I'm gonna do because it's annoying. 
you don't have to OD on it like I'm probably doing right now, but I think that helps with the white cast. Overall, I feel like this wig, this style is super cute. I love the parting space area. This HD lace bow is a little bit funky for me because it's so white. Now, when it did actually lay down and start blending the mirror, I was like, huh, this does look a little bit better than other lace as far as the actual lace itself. Like it looked a little thinner. Let me know if you agree with me. Those who have tried this line, did, it, did the lace seem thinner to you? Because it looked like it to me, especially like along here. But that's all I can say about the HD lace on this Bobby Boss wig. It seems thinner, but the white lace is just an N-O hell no for me. It was really annoying to me and I'm a little irritated. Now when I look at myself in the mirror and I see the end result, I'm like, ooh, okay. Maybe I can give this another shot. <laughs> oh my God. Like you almost forget all the trouble you went through once you see how good the wig looks. But this is definitely not beginner friendly. So if you are a beginner, Please watch reviews and just know the work that you have cut out for you. It's feasible, it's possible, but it's just not a throw on and go. Let me know how you feel about Kava, Kiva in the comments down below. Have you tried these new Bobby Boss units? How do you feel about the HD lace? How does it blend for you if you've tried it? Will you try it based on the reviews that you've been seeing? Please let me know. I think this color is absolutely gorgeous. So for this color, you know, I would keep this wig and just keep practicing and trying. However, I don't know about buying any of the other ones from this line, y'all. I'm a little, I just, I just don't, I don't know if I feel like messing with it. I saw my girl XOXO Shiba. She's a YouTuber and she wore Jacintha, Jacinthia in a, like a 1B color. Oh my God. She looks stunning in that unit. But she did forewarn me. She said she used a lot of foundation too. So, you know, I guess it just comes with the territory with this lace, you know? But this style is everything. Look at this. I love it. Oh my God. I also appreciate how easy it is to like just kind of switch it to the next style. Just like that, I'm in a middle part. You know what I mean? Oh man, this looks so good. Uh, oh, this is like the wig I hate to love. I like it. But then it gets on my freaking nerves. Even though I like this wig, it definitely got on my nerves. But it looks so good. Ooh, all right. Now, if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? We are on the road to 10K. So tap that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Remember after my video to check out Cassie That Girl. Her video will be in the description box down below. I cannot wait to see how she hooks up her body boss unit. So make sure you check her out. And if you want to see some of my recent videos, make sure you check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Don't you know I said